Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, let me put this on the floor first. Now, oh my God. Good morning, family. How are you guys today? Shit. Motherfuckers just getting up and just getting started. Yeah, it is um, 8.06 in the a.m. And this is my get up early in the morning. This is my, this is what I look like. How about that? Huh? This is what I look like in the morning. Check that out. Huh? That's what I look like. Uh, I got me some coffee right here. I just made that. Just dipped back in the groom. But let me put this on my mouth. Well, no, nah, I got to go ahead and take me a little of this right here for excuse me. Man, I gotta have my coffee. And I know some motherfuckers probably like, well, damn, why are you enjoying that while it's, it's keeping you from doing your what's or I'm gonna still do this, okay? Because we got, we got some shit to cover about yesterday and so on and so forth. But um, let me do this first. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now, let me get comfortable. Y'all, this little motherfucking onesie I got on, this motherfucker is so comfortable. It's huge now because I've had it for years. But, okay, let me show y'all. Because I know y'all, well, it makes me look big as hell, but it's just the onesie. See? It's just the onesie. It makes me look bigger. It makes my titties look like they long and sitting on my stomach and all kind of crazy shit. But as you can see, it's really not, you know what I'm saying? It's just the fact that I'm like in a bag or whatever. It's like I'm in a big old bag and I got my socks on. So, you know, man, it's like this is my most comfortable uh, outfit of the day. I, man, I will wear this motherfucker literally every day if I could. You know what I'm saying? I, I rotate this one, the one with the, uh, with the, um, with, with the, with the hood, the black one. I rotate that one. That, that's a Minnie Mouse one. That one, this one, and I got a blue one. And I just rotate them. I just rotate them. And I, I li literally almost every day, this is what I wear when I'm just at home. And I'm just here and I'm just kicking it. And, and you know, the kids is gone and I'm just here by myself or whatever and chilling and whatever. This is my shit. When I get ready to go outside... Shit, check this out though. Nigga been outside naked out there in the motherfucking what you, what, what, what you know, in the what you call it. You know what I'm saying? Not totally naked, but you know, probably like a, just a t-shirt on or something like that. You know what I mean? Because I, cause it's all covered up back there. There's no, you know, there's no, my neighbors ain't looking at me. You know what I mean? They ain't looking at me. They don't give a fuck about me. So, and I don't, I don't really give a fuck about them either. Shit, we don't talk like that. Now, yesterday my neighbors, um... My neighbor's husband and I guess his brother, they was out there working in the yard and shit. And I was like, you know, that's when I got ready to go. And I don't never, you know, I don't be looking at that motherfucking man. You know, they not black, they're, they're um, Hispanic. But they from, they from someplace else. What did she say they was from? You know, they still, you know, they, that's why I just say, you know, they, you know, they're Hispanic. Because I know that they not from like... Right off the bat, motherfuckers get to talk about some Rosarito motherfucking, uh, uh, Ensenada and Tijuana. No, no, no. They from some other whole mother motherfucking spot, you know what I mean? But they still, you know, Spaniards or whatever. I don't know, I don't know. I, 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 look, look, right now, I, I'm on a twist, so if my shit don't make sense, let me go with that, okay? Because I went to this motherfucking convention last night, that's what I'm trying to get to. <clears throat> But in the meantime and in between time, I'm on some other shit. Okay, so it, at any rate, my motherfucking neighbors and her husband and her brother was outside. Uh, her husband, and I guess that's his brother, whatever, the motherfuckers was outside. I was getting in the car. My son was telling me about what time I need to be home. So we standing outside and shit. And he was just looking. He looked, and it kind of made me feel like, nigga, for real? You know what I'm saying? And then all of a sudden, before, we get, before I get ready to leave, the son comes the son-in-law he comes up to my car door and so he said you want some masa i said what because i thought he said masa so i was like masa i was like huh uh i was like for what to make some tamales or something 
And, you know, and, and that's exactly what I said to him because I, you know, and that was probably crazy to throw a little Spanish shit in it, but I didn't, you know, I didn't know what he said. And so he was like, uh, I got such and such, such and such, 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 such. I was like, you know, he was naming off the different flavors that he had or whatever, but I'm still thinking that he talking about masa. So I'm getting out, so I get out of the car. He was like, come see, you know, but they were neighbors. So it was like, no problem. And so he had his truck right there. You know, and so uh, he's like, well, come see, I got different kinds, whatever, and you guys can have a couple cases. So I had told him, I said, okay, well, let me go get um, Isaiah and have him to come get them. So I yelled to the house, and I said, Isaiah, come come outside, because I need to get, to get these Russell names. So, man, the motherfucker, the, the brother was stuck in the motherfucker. I was like, oh, my God, for real? For real, I don't know what the fuck that was. As God is my witness, I, nigga, it's Sunday, okay? I really, you know, one thing I do have is a strong respect for God, and I don't fuck with that, okay? That's what I don't do, okay? Now, my mouth be, mouth might be filing wild, and I'll be all on some more words and shit, and some other shit, and some other shit, but he know my heart, though, and he know, God damn it, that's one thing I don't play with. I ain't finna play with the word of God. Fuck that. Shit, that is my word. Fuck what you're going through. Shit. That? No, nah, that's what I'm not going to do. Fuck with God? Nah. You know what I'm saying? Just outright? Nah, I ain't going to do that. So, yeah. So, I don't know what the fuck that was. I don't know what. So, <clears throat> but truth be told, I think it was a little triangle situation going on. Because the brother across the street... He been, him and his wife was living across the street before um, I even lived here. Older black man, retired from the base and all that shit. And he had been in that house since like, I think he said like the 80s or, you know, whatever. The house across the street. And so, uh, 70s or whatever, but him and his wife was in that house. Anyway, his wife passed years back. And, but this motherfucker, his wife was over there at his house all the motherfucking time. All the time. All the time. I was like, damn, she was cleaning his house. You know, them motherfuckers was going and running errands and shit. All, I'm talking about in the daytime, okay? And see, he got like fruit trees and shit in his backyard. That motherfucker got lemons and plums and all kinds of shit. When my babies were little, you know, he would always bring my kids fruit and stuff. Well, <laughs> After his motherfucking wife died, you know, she, I guess, decided that she was going to be his motherfucking housekeeper or whatever. But that motherfucker was over there at his house almost every day. Now, he done remarried now. And he married a Hispanic lady. So that's his, that's his get down, basically. Okay? That's his motherfucking get down. I don't really like it no motherfucking way because I used to know his wife. His wife and my mama was cool. This is an older black man. You could tell he was a motherfucking cold piece back about about 40 motherfucking years ago. That motherfucker right there was a cold one. I mean, he's a cold one now. That motherfucker can't even stand up straight. And that motherfucker be damn near about ready to run into some shit in the garage. Every time I'm outside getting out of my car, it's like that motherfucker making a point to open up his motherfucking garage. He just have a seat too. One of them older black men, you know, that be sitting down and got them big ass nuts. And when they sit down, them nuts be big and they just hang right there. Yeah. I was like, I am not looking at you, motherfucker. You knew my motherfucking husband. You knew my pops. How the fuck I'm going to be looking at you? Shit, please. Get the fuck up out of here. No. It's, that's going to be a no on that. And see, after his wife died, about, mm, about a couple of years, that motherfucker was lonely, you know. He would come over here, bringing my kids all kind of little fruits and shit and all that shit and all that shit and all that shit and I was like and at the time you know me and Tony was like at that point separated so it was like you know I was here by myself with my you know me and my kids but this motherfucker I mean he would constantly just come over all the time oh well you know I was coming by but I would never let that motherfucker really in my house you know what I'm saying it was like the neighbor across the street you know like in the movies and shit and there's the neighbor across the street yeah that motherfucker, but then when I started dating, that motherfucker, man, I ain't gonna, even, look, this is, look, I'm, look, I'm on a whole motherfucking storyline about this motherfucker across the street, why did I do that, that let you know I'm stuck, ain't that a bitch, my bad, excuse me, damn.
Mm. How many minutes did I talk about that motherfucking shit? Ain't nobody said nothing. Everybody just rolling with it. Pulled in closer. Did she fuck the motherfucker? I want to know. Did she fuck it? Did he eat her pussy at least once? No. No, that's going to be a no on that. Didn't I just tell you that motherfucker knew my daddy? Okay? And on top of that, he had sold my father a trailer. Okay? And see, he had an RV and a boat. Just like my dad had an RV and a boat. And so he had he had um, whatever with his boat or whatever, but he still had a trailer. He still had the trailer. And so the trailer was in the driveway, and so he had sold the trailer to my dad years ago. So that lets you know how long ago that was. But that lets you know how long I've been in my house. My daughter will be 18 years old, and I, Tony bought me this house when I was nine months pregnant. So I've been in this motherfucker for 18 years. So in the midst of 18 years, you know, you know what's happening around your motherfucking hood. You know what I'm saying? You see who come in, who come out. Apparently these motherfuckers are renting. You know who the owners are from just being there for so long. That's just my point. God damn. I didn't mean to fuck up the video with all that shit. I'm supposed to be talking about some other shit. Right? I ain't even supposed to be talking about this shit. But yeah, I was just looking at my motherfucking neighbors. And I'm like, wow. You know, because I'm in the house all the time. I'm never outside. You ain't catching me, <clears throat> excuse me, on some Miss Parker shit. Out there in the front. Nigga, you, whenever you see me in the front, nigga, I'm getting in and out of my motherfucking whip. Either one of them motherfuckers. Know that. Okay? So, I I, I don't, I, you know, in the front of the house for what? My partner's in the back. I'm in the front of the house? Hell no. My kids don't even parlay. Now, yeah, my son and his partners was that outside up under the tree. I said, if y'all don't get y'all motherfucking asses up out of the front of the house, what kind of shit is this him? Yeah. My son and his partners. All these big ass motherfucking football player ass niggas. Nah. Y'all get y'all black ass in the backyard. I don't know what the fuck y'all congregating about. But we're going to bring all this motherfucker right here to this meeting. We doing this in the back. We not doing it because uh, I can sit here and I can watch the monitors and see, you know, the cameras on what's going on since I'm back here. I need to do that. So I'm sitting back here, and I let motherfucking camera switch, and they showed that motherfucker outside about four or five motherfuckers with him. I said, nah, y'all motherfuckers better get y'all shit to the back, okay? Call that nigga right on his phone. Uh, excuse me, why are you outside? In the front of the house, you and your partner. Y'all y'all niggas better be, get behind that motherfucking gate. Y'all ain't got to come all the way to the back, but goddamn it, if y'all gonna be on the side of the house, be on the side. But you ain't gonna parlay up here in the front of the motherfucking house, nigga. That just look crazy to me. That's how shit go down. Motherfuckers is in the front of the house drive-by. I don't know. I don't live in that kind of hood, but what hood is that? You know what I'm saying? Because motherfuckers will go on one wherever the fuck they at. Nigga, you can be a motherfucker that's just in the Grand Canyon for two weeks and just go off on some shit. You know what I'm saying? So it don't matter. Uh, motherfuckers be like, oh, well, not in my hood. And not. Shit, quit saying that shit nowadays. Quit saying that motherfucking shit. Because for one punch time, we didn't think niggas was doing no wrong, did we? We was like, shit, nah, wait, watch they, watch they say this motherfucker was white. Watch they say this motherfucker was masculine. Oh, they were stealing pussy? Oh, man, that's a masculine all day long. Wait, 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 watch when they showed this motherfucker masculine and then molested some kids or something. That's fucked up. You know, I mean, stereotyping motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying, based upon their race, okay, they did this. Just like they always think we're gonna, we stealing every motherfucking thing that's in that motherfucker. Okay? Now, I have stole a thing or two in my lifetime. I am a sinner. I am getting worked on. As we the fuck speaks. You understand what I'm saying? I ain't got no secrets about mine. Secrets for what? You know what I'm saying? I done picked up a few things in my motherfucking lifetime. Had to pay for that shit, too. You know what I'm saying? So, at this point in time in my life, when you get to be my motherfucking hey, let me just go and tell y'all. Let me just go and tell you something. <clears throat> when you start getting over 40 years old, at that point in time, you ain't supposed to really have no motherfucking secrets. Secrets for what? Because secrets, you got to hold them motherfuckers too tight. You got to keep up with them motherfuckers. You got to keep up with a storyline. You got to keep this mask on. You got to, you know, be somebody that you're not to your family and all kinds of shit. Because you, you can't live your genuine self because you're afraid of getting ridiculed and talked about and get caught crazy too. But... When you over 40 years old, now if you want to play some motherfucking games, I can still see you playing games in your 30s, 20s, you know. That, I mean, in that time frame, you know, play some games and shit. I mean, on some real shit, real shit. Can we talk uh, family? Because now we finna turn this into some other shit, okay? Now see, my motherfucking elevation then went to a different level, okay? Yeah. All right. So, 
at a certain age, you ain't even supposed to be out here lying to a motherfucking soul. Why? Why? When you meet somebody over 40 motherfucking years old and them motherfuckers is lying about shit, man, that motherfucker ain't no good for nothing. You understand me? Who is that there just coming in and ain't saying nothing? Okay, what's going on? Did I ever work out? Uh, yeah. What, uh, when is you... What's going on, Isaiah? When is you leaving? Well, I'm still leaving right now. Who is you going with? Nobody. Okay, you going to go work out by yourself? Isaiah, I done told you now. Is there something else you got going on? I need you to go ahead on and put that forth. Don't come in here about some motherfucking working out shit, nigga. Because there's all kind of shit out here your motherfucking ass can do. So now, don't come in here with no, I'm about to go work out. And you trying to link up with, you know, um, dip, honey dip. I say that. She live all the way by the Pacific. I'm not. I'm not. She live all by the I, I can't. I'm not pushing that. that but that's way too far. That, that's way too You far. see what I'm saying? You see what I'm nigga, you to already push, laughing though. To push the push though, that's a push. Like that's that's a good walk. That's a Oh good my walk. you see what I'm saying? You almost said something else, but it's okay. a push. That's a long walk. I can't do that. Yeah, but look. It's yeah, three it, o'clock it, in the morning to, oh, no, I can't do that. Three that's o'clock like, in the morning. What you trying to do? I said it's eight o'clock in the morning. Well, I understand all that, that's but now the storyline hold on, let me put my motherfucking what's that's a long walk. Girl. Listen, you what you really that, trying girl. to do? Come here, I need to look at you fully, nigga. Now, because now That's the storyline is changing up and shit. I already know it's a twist in the game. How's the story? I said I'm going to go work out. Huh? I said I'm going to go work out. I'm just saying that's a long walk. See, you can't even get your shit straight. Why is you grinning so, nigga? Because I'm just, it's just a happy day. Like two changes. You woke up this morning, you winning. Oh, okay. Well, then, shit, we, we really winning. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh... I mean, why is you grinning so? So then, therefore, okay, now you about you, you came in here and asked me, can you go work out? Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. which I, you know, what I'm saying I ain't mad at none of that. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? That's you look good, boy. Mm-hmm. But however, though, uh, something don't sound right with this storyline. Now, Daquan and them been over here for the past few days and all this old kind of shit and praise mm-hmm. God and all y'all been hanging out. So, but all of a sudden now mm-hmm. you. Huh? I'm at church with Prince Cousin while we were there. Oh, okay. So no, no, I don't even think he's there because he be going to his dad's and stuff on the weekends. Oh, okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Don't get your black ass in no trouble, partner. Okay. I don't need not now soul calling me about nothing you got going on. Okay, that on. means you're supposed to keep your motherfucking hands to yourself and every yeah, goddamn keep, thing keep else keep together. Quiet. Exactly. Huh? You said keep your hands to myself and keep quiet. Exactly. It, 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 you got damn right. Are Keep you know? quiet, but then, God damn it, if you need if you need to say some shit, make sure it's about something, though. Okay. All right. No, no problem. Anyway, y'all, excuse me. This is this is just how we do. You know what I'm saying? When it comes down to my children, you know, hey, look, check this out. I ain't had to put a hand or a foot on one of mine in a long motherfucking time. I haven't. Me and my daughter don't have exchanges like we about to fight in the streets. We ain't got none of that going on. Me and my son, me and him, we, this is how we get out because this is what this is where he at and this is you know this is his flow. This is his energy. Now with my oldest, my oldest is gay. Not to say that his that his get down is a little bit differently, but we talk about different topics, topics and subjects and different things. We talk about how him and his partners, how they, you know what I'm saying? So my whole get down be on a whole different level. You know what I'm saying? Then when, when I'm talking to my daughter, she's more so on some, you know, what the girls got going on nowadays. You know what I mean? But my, my daughter is just, you know, she just on her own. My, my daughter's a Leo and she on her own shit. That motherfucker be in her own shit on whatever she got going on on her computer. I mean, on her little laptop. I mean, uh... Uh, pad or whatever and all that shit. Man, she'd be on her own. She'd doing her own. She ain't thinking about my motherfucking ass. She'd come in when it's time to go to work, though. Mama, can you take me to work? One of them. But as far as, like, all on some more, I don't, I, I'm not worried about her like that, you know, or, or really worried about her, you know, really out here fucking and doing all kind of crazy shit. Nah. I mean, her partners, they come over here. They stay the night like the other night. Her partner, Precious, was here. She stayed the night. 
And, you know, they stayed up talking about what was going to happen the next day at the prom. And, you know, they were talking about all that kind of shit. And then they all went to the nail shop and shit yesterday. But, shit. And, man, I'm cool. Mine ain't no motherfucking problem. Now, that one right there is bear watching, though. Because that one right there is about that life. That nigga's about it. Okay? That nigga's about it right there. That one? Shit. I better talk to that motherfucker like I need to. Because if I sugarcoat any motherfucking thing, when it come down to that one right there, nah, I can't do it. I got to let him know what the business he is when he first come in the motherfucking door. Because he already think my mama's half-ass crazy. But he think I'm as cold as nigga, though. Because whatever's going on, he's like, man, I'm going to take this to my mom's. Watch what my mom say. And see, they, his partners come over here just see what the fuck I'm going to say. Miss Cena, woo da woo da woo da woo 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 to see what the fuck I'm going to say. And I tell him, just like I'm talking to his motherfucking ass, I don't know how to tell him, y'all motherfucker might, might need a permission slip over here my goddamn house. Because Miss Tina going to tell you exactly what the fuck I feel, and I'm going to keep it pushing right on in my motherfucking what you call it. Right on to my motherfucking bourgeois. I'm going to say what I need to, and I'm heading back on back in this motherfucker. That's it. They know she's here. They see that motherfucking cat out there. So they know she's here. But she, oh, she back there. She doing her her thing back there. These motherfuckers is running the whole motherfucking show up there. On whatever the fuck they gonna eat. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever the fuck. Nigga, I'm just a pair. You know what I'm saying? I'm the, what they call it, the payee. Yeah, I'm that motherfucker. I'm the home manager. I go make sure all the shit is the motherfucking lights cut on. The motherfuckers need to. There's groceries and shit up in this motherfucker. And all that there. But now, gone are the days where I got to be in there and cooking every day. I don't have to do that no more. Now, one is going and coming. This one got to go here. This one got to go here. This one over here. This one doing that. This one, this one. That's what's happening. Nigga, I'm Uber. Nigga. <laughs> 100 shit. I'm motherfucking Uber. Okay? Because this one got this one. This one got to go to work uh, at this time. And this one got to go to work at this time. This one over here got this to do in practice. And this one, man. So, they be grabbing shit to go. They be on some old, that one, he like, um, what, what's them old, um, pocket rolls? No. He like Hot Pockets, but he also like them pizza roll things. Totino's or some shit like that. I get them in the bag at Smart and Fine or a big bag of the motherfuckers, and he like the pepperonis. They like little triangles or little squares or something, I don't know, but I don't, the shit look peculiar to me, I don't fuck with it. But I know when I go, he's like, Mama, did you get the 40 one bag? I said, yeah, I got the 40, baby. That's his shit. If it don't say 40 on that motherfucker, he think it's a problem. Like, motherfucker, it got to at least be 40 in the motherfuckers in there. So, see, as Marvin Finer, you get the large quantity ones. You know what I'm saying? He like pizza. That's his favorite motherfucking tilt right there. Pizza? You can't, you, you can't go wrong with that motherfucker. That nigga there? Shit, pizza. That's it. Nigga, don't matter what the fuck kind. Now, he don't really fuck with too much frozen pizzas, though. Now, the one one that he do kind of like is that Celestial. He do like that one. But, but, like, um, that other one in the red box. How about that motherfucker? That nigga had it all kind of shit on that motherfucker. I was like, damn, what you, you know, they didn't put enough cheese. They didn't put enough this. They didn't put enough that. I was like, oh, okay. So, that one I know I can't get no goddamn more. He was, that, that nigga was all in the other kind of shit. Nigga, that's for all kind of goddamn enchiladas and shit. Nigga, you had that motherfucker cake up. Now, but that one there... That's my baby there. I mean, you know, all three of your kids, you know, I mean, all your children are going to have different personalities. And you cannot be the same with one that you're going to be with that one. The attitude is going to have to switch up because they're different individuals. You know what I mean? They're different individuals, shit. But when my oldest come up in here, man, nigga, we loud. I don't know what makes the volume go up. I don't know what the fuck that is. What is with the volume? I'll be like, damn, why are we yelling at one another? What is this? You know? And see, but my kids don't fuck with YouTube no more. You know what I'm saying? And let me go ahead on and say that right now to the new people that's just watching my channel and be like, well, damn, how come she don't ever show her children? How come she don't ever show her dude? How come she don't ever show this and that and this and this and this? Because all that is my private life. You know, and, and gone are the days where I can do that and people be all right. No, people get disrespectful. So, um, and especially when it comes down to my children, people have been very disrespectful. Regard in regards to my children, so I don't even play them motherfucking games, cause nigga has, ha, you know, has the ability to get on a flight. You understand what I'm saying? It's not a problem. So then, therefore, to keep all that bullshit down and to keep it from getting childish around this motherfucker, I just don't do that anymore. 
you know, and it, uh, showing my, man, I done got, man, I done got, uh, man, I don't even want to go on that tilt right there when it come down, because that's a real sore spot with me. I don't fuck with that. Hell, no, nah, I don't fuck with that. So, I don't do that. I don't show my children certain aspects of my house or my home and certain things I'm, I'm in certain areas and that's it. You know what I'm saying? Other things is kind of private. I think that's just the way that it's supposed to go. Don't y'all think? When y'all watch other motherfucking shit, motherfuckers be in that same motherfucking spot for four or five motherfucking years. But motherfucker, is that just where you stay? Nigga, is you in a studio, apartment? Damn, there's no backyard, no... Where, where is you at? What's going on and shit? Yeah. But, I mean, and respectfully, that's... If that's... You, you know... You know what I'm saying? In the day, these motherfuckers ain't paying us to take you on a war tour around this motherfucker. They really ain't doing that. You know what I'm saying? And nor is it anybody's business. I can understand that and I can appreciate that. But as for me and my personality, I'll be all over the place all the time. And that's why on my channel, I'm you subjected to see me ordering all kind of motherfucking uh, uh, filet of fishes and, and sweet teas and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm taking you places where, you know, motherfuckers wouldn't dare take you to. But that's just my comfort, you know what I'm saying? And then my thing is, shit, I just want to show somebody else on how motherfuckers get down and how, you know, other motherfuckers, you know? A lot of people don't know some of the things, um, you know, some of the places and stuff like that. They've never been there before. Just like on this motherfucking video, when I put this motherfucking video up, I ain't never been there before, goddammit. I was like a motherfucking kid, so let's go ahead on and switch it up again.